SQL Crash Course, let's learn how to do an SQL join with three tables. Think about what happens when we visit our home timeline on Twitter. When we send out a request to get our home timeline, the server needs to look up all the people we follow, find all the tweets for all those users, and merge them sorted by time. For a relational database, we could write the query something like this. This SQL query retrieves data from two tables, tweets, and users based on a condition involving a third table, follows. Let's break down the query step by step. So we can imagine that the the tweets table will look something like this. Each tweet gets a unique ID, it's attributed to a sender, and contains the text of the tweet. We also have the users table, where each user has a unique ID and a username. And we have our follows table, where we have a follower unique ID and a followee unique ID. In this case, the follower follows the followee, right? So let's examine this SQL query step by step. Select tweets users. So initially we select all columns from both the tweets and users table. The asterisk here is a wildcard. This means select all. So these, these are the records that we care about. These are the ones that we're going to be working with from tweets. So we start with a tweets table, join users on tweets.sender ID equals user ID. So we're doing a join operation to connect the tweets table with the users table based on the sender ID column in tweets matching the ID column in users. Great. Now we've associated each tweet with its sender. Join follows on followers dot follow ID equals users dot ID. So we perform another join operation to connect the follows table with the result of the previous join based on the follow ID column in follows matching the ID column in the result. Okay, now we've identified users who are being followed and by whom, where follows dot follower ID equals current user. So we're assuming here that we've previously defined some current user. Let's say that that user is user 104. So we apply a where clause to filter the rows where follower ID matches the current user, which is 104. So the result includes tweets sent by users who are being followed by our current user. Any clarifying questions, leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one.